But how many people here want to be a million dollar a year real estate agent? Okay, step one is I think you need to realize that every single one of you are walking million dollar a year real estate agents right now. Every single one of you have the opportunity, the skills, you're professional, you're dependable, you're hardworking, you're honest, you're everything. You wouldn't be here right now if you weren't everything that someone would want in an agent. The people that bought tickets that didn't show up, I don't know about them, but you guys are. And what you have to ask yourself is, every day when you look in the mirror, am I going to do what it takes? Do I have what it takes? Am I going to put forth the effort that it takes to get there? Because it's there. The only thing in between you and there is effort and time. And you have to ask yourself, (laughs) am I going to do it or not? I'll tell you another thing, and this is dead honest. I believe this to my core. I promise you this, if a roofer that grew up in a trailer in Alabama can do it, I promise on everything in the world that every single person in this room can do what you want to do. There's not a doubt in my mind for a second. And that's what's so great about this industry too that I love. There's so many great agents at the top for you to look at and say, If they can do it, I can do it. There's nothing special about them whatsoever. I know if I can do it, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. All you have to do is be willing to do what I did to get here. I started in real estate in 2002. I was 20 years old. There was no Zillow, Facebook, Red X, Mojo, none of this crazy stuff. New agents completely have it made right now. You don't even know what I went through to find phone numbers and dial with my finger and, you know, no social media. It was nuts. But it took me eight long months to make my first sale. How many people here took six months to a year to make their first sale? Okay. You see, the business hasn't really changed that much from... 17 years ago to now. It's still a process. It still takes time to learn. And agents come to me all the time that have been in the business for two weeks, a month, crying and complaining about not having any deals, not having any listings yet, haven't closed 10 properties. And my response is, welcome to the club. (laughs) Because the process is, is, is the same as when I started. For, for new agents, or if you're in that predicament, I think a few things to think about are you're put, you're, you, you overestimate what you can do short term, and you underestimate what you can do long term. You're overestimating what you think you can do right now. You think you can you know, do 100 deals your second year. I'll do 50 this year and 100 next year. I'll be right there where Ricky is. It doesn't work like that. So you're overestimating what you can do. Slow down and realize this is a process. Also, I think that we're, the way that we're judging our businesses is backwards. We're judging our businesses based on things that I don't think are as important, such as listings, appointments. If someone comes to me and says, Ricky, this is what I'm doing in my business. What can I do to improve? Where am I, where am I falling short? Where are the holes in my business? They say, here's how many closings, listings, and appointments I'm setting. I'm like, okay, cool. That tells me about 40% of the picture for me. What I want to know when I'm evaluating your business is how many people are you contacting daily? And out of those people, how many are you connecting with? I want to know that ratio. How many are you attempting, not attempting, how many are you talking to? And out of that number, how many you're connecting with? Because those two things tell me how many people you're talking to tell me how hard you're working and how many you're connecting with tells me where your communication skill level is right this second. 
And so based on all that, closings, listings, appointments, uh, number of contacts, number of connections, now, now I can see where your business really is based on the effort and the results. Talking, if you're talking to you know, thousands of people but you're not getting much results, okay, we need to work on your communication skill level. Where's your intent? What are you saying to these people? How are these conversations going? We want to go deeper there. So, and to me, let's talk about market share for a second because this is something that I feel I need to say. People, agents are looking at the market in terms of, okay, this agent has this many listings and does this many sales. So they own this much market share. Okay, well, we trade stocks on future earnings of companies. I trade market share of an agent on the future earnings of an agent. And to me, the future earnings of an agent is dependent upon the percentage of property owners in the area that you have a lifelong, real relationship with. Voice to voice. They know who you are. You're building brand. They've talked to you. They see you digitally. They feel like you're everywhere. The part of those three that most people don't want to do or are missing is the talking to them part. And it's so crucial. The voice to voice is the reason why technology will not replace real estate agents. The voice to voice and the process of the, of the transactions are the, is the reason why. Everyone has to be consulted through the market. It's changing every day. I can't even come to Dallas as, as a higher, highest producer I am in Alabama, I can't come here and, and even buy a piece of property. I would have to consult with a local agent, even me. So how do you think customers and clients and buyers and sellers, they're not even, they're not even in real estate. They have other lives. They need us. 